This is question nine. Here are the marks that James scored in the Lever Maths test, and we're given these marks here, and we're asked to find the interquartile range of these marks. Now, in order to find out the interquartile range, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work out what the difference is between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So we can write this as the upper quartile subtract the lower quartile. So what do we mean by the upper quartile and the lower quartile? Well, the lower quartile is simply the number which is one quarter of the way along a list of numbers. And the upper quartile is the number which is three quarters of the way along a list of numbers. So here are our numbers that we've given, and these relate to the marks that James scored in the 11 maths tests. And to work out the upper quartile and the lower quartile, first of all, we're going to have to put these numbers in size order. So we've got 11 first, that's our smallest number. Then we've got a 12. Uh, then we've got two 13s. Then we have got, uh, what have we got next? We've got a 16. Then we've got uh, two 17s. Then we've got an 18. Uh, and then two 19s and a 20. So 19, 19 and a 20. Is that all of our numbers? Yep. So we've got all of our numbers lined up in size order here. Now to work out, we're going to start by working out the lower quartile. And what I think is the best way to do that is to first of all find the median for this set of numbers. So our median is the number which is halfway along. So I'm just going to cross off a number from each end until I get to the middle. So what I can see is I've crossed off five numbers from this end, five numbers from that end, and so I can say that my median is 17. So my median is 17 and that's the halfway point. So if I then look to the left of this, if I half the numbers which are to the left of my median, then that will find me the quarter way point. So again, just doing the same thing. So I'm going to cross off a number from each end of this list now. So cross through there and across through there, across through there and across through there. And so that leaves me with a lower quartile of 13. So I'm just going to write here, lower quartile equals 13. Doing the same thing to the right of the median. So my median is 17. So if I go to the halfway point of the numbers to the right, well, that's going to be three quarters of the way along this list. So doing the same thing, crossing one off from each end, I can see that that is going to give me 19 as my upper quartile. So my upper quartile is 19, my lower quartile is 13, and so my interquartile range, which I'm just going to call IQR, my interquartile range is going to be 19 minus 13, which gives me an answer of 6. Okay, here we're then told, so that's part A, interquartile range is 6. Then for part B, we're told that Sunil did the same 11 maths tests. The median mark Sunil scored in his test is 17, and the interquartile range is 8. Which one of Sunil or James has the more consistent marks? So let's take James's scores to begin with. So James, well, James got a median of 17. And he got an interquartile range of six. Okay, so James is that's James's median. So they've got exactly the same median. And our question is who has got the more consistent marks? 
And our answer to this is simply going to be that James has. So James has got this more consistent because his interquartile range, the amount that his, scored var his scores varied, is smaller. We can see that Sunil's interquartile range was 8, so his scores were more varied. So we're going to say that James is more consistent. And the reason for that, so the reason for that is because his interquartile range is lower. Okay, on to part C. Then we're told that Sunil did four more maths tests. His scores in these four tests were 16, 20, 18 and 10. We then asked, how does his new median mark for the 15 tests compare with his median mark of 17 for the 11 tests? So if we look at the numbers that we've got here, we've got 16, 20, 18 and 10. So will these, will those numbers change the median? And so if we look at this, what I can see is that I've got 20 and 18 will sit above that median of 17. 16 and 10 will sit below it, which means that uh, the new median is the same as it was before. If I've got two that sit above it, 20 and 18, and two which sit below it, that means that 17 will still be the median. So I'd say here that my new median is 17, and then I would say that the two values, uh, two values will be above. Two values, so two values will be below. And this is because it's asking me to explain my answer. Two values will be below. And therefore, 17 will still be in the middle, so 17 is still the median.